In this video, we will show you the procedure to disassemble, replace the components, and reassemble the Cummins M11 injector using the tools and parts produced by Radat SPA, followed by its testing with the Hartridge cam box. We start the disassembly by removing the filter and all the O-rings. With the holding block 4021094, -0 we close the injector in the vise before removing the connector. Using the open wrench 4021182, -1 we remove the solenoid valve assembly, which we will disassemble separately. We then proceed to removing the bracket, which retains the spring, allowing us to remove the other components as well. With the insert 4021097, we remove the screw and washer from the injector body. Using the wrench 4021086, we remove the nozzle nut, followed by all other parts. Then, with the insert 4021098, it is possible to remove the nut, the spring, and the valve from the bush 12097111. Finally, we proceed by disassembling the solenoid group. Using the pliers 4020700, -0 we can remove the elastic ring and all other internal components.
now the injector is completely disassembled. We proceed to a careful cleaning, check and replacement of the worn components. We recommend replacing any damaged parts and those subject to most wear, such as the springs, o-rings, filter, valve, plunger assembly and nozzle. Please check the complete spare parts list on the Radat website. We start the assembly procedure by tightening the block 4021094 in the vise and positioning the injector. We proceed with the assembly of the components. Then we mount the nut, the spring and the valve in the bush 1209711. Using the insert 4021098, we tighten the nut to 5 Newton meters. We proceed to the mounting of the spring and the pin. For correct calibration, we have three different pin thicknesses. Please check our kit 1210993. Then we install the bush. Using the wrench 4021086, we tighten the nozzle nut to 110 Newton meters. We then proceed to mount the spring and the other components. Tighten the bracket screw to lock the spring. Then we assemble the solenoid valve assembly. Using the pliers for 020700, we can insert the elastic ring in the solenoid nut.
with the open range 4021182 we tighten the solenoid valve assembly in the injector tightening it to 40 newton meters we use the insert 4021097 to tighten the screw with washer to 5 newton meters in the injector body Finally, we proceed to installing the filter and the O-rings, available in our kits 1208759 and 1211594. The injector is completely assembled. Using the tool 4021256, we can perform a manual test of the nozzle spray. We tighten the tool 4021256 in the vise and proceed to mounting the other parts. Using the wrench 4021086, we close the nozzle nut to 110 newton meters. Then we test the nozzle spray using the nozzle tester 4010926 combined with the fume extractor 4. 021504. We will now show you how to test the Cummins M11 injector with the Hartridge cam box. We install the Cummins M11 injector on the Hartridge cam box using the dedicated adapter. We can select the make and model of the injector in the software and by pressing start all the tests are executed automatically. At the end of the tests the green and red colors confirm the positive or negative results respectively. By selecting each test the related details are shown on screen. All of our videos can be seen on our YouTube channel. For further information, please visit our website www.radat.com or contact our offices.